Hello and welcome to our quick tip today. So we're going to jump jump into a quick tip that came up today in some conversations. I'm going to show you how to extract the files from a Power BI desktop installer using a tool called PBI Tools. Uh, I'm going to overview how the tool works and how things are implemented. I'm not really going to cover how to install the PBI Tools program itself. There's documentation that I'll link to in the description of this video for more information about that. Let's jump right in and go to our desktop. Here you'll see my Power BI, my desktop of my computer. Um, you'll notice here I've already downloaded an exe file from the desktop, or this is the Microsoft service. This is the exe file that you would typically click on. When you click this file, you'll get a Microsoft MSI installer that will then install the program on your computer and things of that nature. What we're going to do is instead, we're actually going to extract the files out of the installer and put them in a folder that we can then go use later on um, for whatever other purposes. Basically, this is skipping the MSI installer setup. Okay, to start here, we're going to use a tool called PBI Tools. And let me just quickly show you uh, this website. So this is the website here. The website is called PBI Tools. Awesome website. Uh, this is actually the tool that Matthias Thierbach has built. Incredible tool. So amazing. Uh, there is a getting started tutorial that if you need to install this tool, this is actually a uh, command line interface, a CLI that you would use on your PC. If you go into the getting started area, this is where it will show you how to install the tool onto your computer if you have installed properties and settings on your machine. The feature we're going to be overviewing today will be this specific feature called Extract PBI Desktop. You'll see right here, this is the feature we will use, Extract PBI Desktop. This is what we're going to use uh, in this demo. With that being said, I'll move this out of the way. And then let's go ahead and start this. So to, to begin the process here, first you'll need to download the Power BI Desktop. Um, you can typically do that by going to, um, I typically go to navigate to the blog itself. So go to Microsoft blog, click on products. In the drop down menu, you'll click on Power BI Desktop. And then from here, instead of clicking download free, this will take you to the App Store. Um, instead, I want to go download the file individually so I can see download or language options. Once I click on that, I'll have the option to download desktop. I'll click download. And what we'll do, it'll let me check the option here or downloading desktop, and then I'll just click on this button to download the file. I've already done that to save ourselves some time, but that's how you would go get the executable file that you're we're going to unpack. Next, what I'll do is I'll run up my command line. So I'll just write, uh, hit the Windows key and type CMD. This will bring up my command prompt. And if you install PBI tools correctly, uh, you'll be able to use that tool anywhere you want on any command line you need to. So what I can start doing is see PBI dash tools. And you'll notice as soon as I run that, all the documentation pieces appear for me. And again, we're going to focus in on this one called Extract PBI Desktop. So to make this command line run, I'll just bring this window over here. You'll also notice I've made a folder in which I'm going to extract the files into. So I like doing these two things on my desktop. And you can move this folder around after, you need to, after you've installed it and move it around. It's not a problem. Uh, but for this example, I'm just going to do everything on my desktop. So in order to kick off the command here, and I'll make this really big here so we can see what I'm writing here from a command line standpoint. I'm going to start with pbi-tools. And then the command we're actually looking for here is called extract pbi desktop. So extract dash pbi desktop, just like this. And then I have two uh, parameters I need to pass to this. The first parameter is required. And the first required parameter is the location of where the installer file lives. So what I can do is I can right click on the file. I can then copy as path. And then I go back to my command line and hit paste. So this is going to paste in the directory location of where that file that installer lives. Now, if you run it, it will uninstall or unpack all the files in the same location where you had the, uh, the installer uh, defined. I actually want to put it in a specific folder. So I've actually made a folder on desktop. So I'm going to, again, right click again and say copy as path and install that here as well. So now I have the location of the installer and I have the ext extraction path of where I'm going to put all the files. Next, I'll click enter. And then the program will then go into the file. It will then grab the MSI. It'll unpack it and unpack all the files inside it and distribute them into my folder here. So we'll just give it a minute or two for it to run. 
you'll see that the icon already is changing. So here you can see in the left-hand side, there's a little blue icon. The folder is now being hydrated with all the files previously. And it'll, it takes about a minute or two for actually to complete this process. There we go. It has finished. So you'll, you'll see down here at the bottom, we have a couple little notes. The EXE has been extracted. The MSI file or MSI uh, portion has been also expanded. And you'll then see here's the location of where all the files go. Awesome. So then I can minimize this. We're not going to use that now. We'll open up Power BI Desktop, this folder here where I installed. There is the MSI file. So that's the MSI portion here. And then if you click into the folder here, this is where the exe file exists. So if I click into Power BI Desktop now, and now I also put uh, down here, there's a lot of files located here. I'll go into the bin area. And then if I go scroll down until I see the exe file. So these are all the different unpacked files from the installer. If I scroll down here, you'll see eventually at some point, there is a Power BI Desktop icon. So this is Power BI Desktop exe. I just extracted this. This is the actual application. And if I double click on this, it will now um, use that exe file. It will then establish you know, the, the, the app behind the scenes, and then it will then run up my desktop file just like normally. So I basically skipped the entire um, install process that would usually be done through the desktop installer. So you'll see here, now it's going to grab the Power BI desktop program. There we are. It's now running up desktop, and there we go. We're now uh, inside Power BI desktop building and things and creating uh, you would normally have here in desktop. You'll also notice this is because this is an exe file that's different than my other installs. So I have an install from uh, the Power BI service, the app service. Then you'll see that it also presents a new icon down here on the ribbon because that's the new exe file where this came from. And you could pin that to your, your toolbar if you want to look at it. So you have another uh, icon there for Power BI desktop. And that's it. That's how you extract the uh, Power BI exe file directly into those um, a folder. And then you can go open up the exe file directly and then use your Power BI desktop there. That's it for this quick tip today. We appreciate it. Hope you like this quick tip and hope this adds some value to you as you build things in Power BI Desktop.